Welcome back. You are here with our Master J, and today we are doing a comic book review of A New Kind of War, the first comic book from Will Jordan, aka The Critical Drinker. This book is a one-off story in the Rambo universe that gives the background of Rambo's mentor, Colonel Trotman, from when he was a young officer serving in the Korean War. This book starts off telling the story at two different times simultaneously, where we are getting the mission briefing while en route to the drop point. The mission is to infiltrate a North Korean airfield, plant explosive charges, and blow the joint under the cover of night. After some extended travel on foot, they begin their covert mission on the base, but unexpectedly run into a Russian pilot that they decide not to kill on sight, but try to extract as a hostage. This decision, of course, comes back to bite them in the ass, as when the opportunity arises, the Russian attacks them and alerts the surrounding base soldiers. A firefight ensues, and the members of the unit are wounded and have to be dragged out by the able bodies of the unit. The planted explosive detonate all while this is going on and the unit is able to make it to the extraction point. We finish off with Trotman talking about the soldiers that will be needed for a new kind of war as he is mourning his follow unit members and his sergeant. I enjoyed this flashback story that further developed the overall Rambo universe, but by no means am I a Rambo expert, just a casual fan. But it is really cool that Stallone is part of this project, along with the primary book from this Indiegogo campaign that hasn't arrived yet, that will cover Rambo's first tour in Vietnam and is written by Chuck Dixon. This book is a solid war story, but due to the book's short length, just 21 pages, there is not much to cover. The pacing and dual storytelling at the beginning allows for the most efficient use of the panels available, but I craved more and I wish the book could have been longer. In terms of the story events, I'm not sure where the sympathy for the Russian came from. The sergeant, after the team had already killed multiple enemy soldiers, wanted to show that he was better than the enemy. Then the most obvious thing that could happen, which the book even called out, did end up happening, which was the captive blowing their cover and leading to the immediate death of at least two members of the unit, including the sergeant. This sequence just didn't make sense to me character motivation wise. Why him? Why now? There was no setup for this compassion. And this was the driving point of the whole book that would lead to Trotman's narrating men who would kill without hesitation. But reminder, they had already just killed without said hesitation. The artwork by Ken Lowe for this book is a scratchy line with watercoloring style that I had not personally seen before. For a one-off story of a war flashback, it was very enjoyable. Not sure I'd like an entire series in this style, but for this application, it looked great. The final base explosion and escape scene especially looked fantastic. With all that said, I have a new kind of war at a 6 out of 10, with the main issue being the overall short length and the inciting incident being something that I personally didn't think made a lot of sense. So what did you think of a new kind of war? the first comic book from Critical Drinker. Let me know in the comments below. And with that, please like and subscribe and have a wonderful evening, afternoon, or morning wherever you are on this crazy world. And as always, GG's. Go away now.